Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And today we're gonna take a look at a PAR. We look at a lot of PARs, a lot of wash lights. And this one is the Volux QPAR 18IP. Let's take a look. So the QPAR from Volux, their 18 IP, it's got a couple things up its sleeve which are really interesting. And the first and foremost is that, um, just to, to give you the quick rundown, it is a outdoor rated IP65 um, hex PAR, so it's red, green, blue, white, amber, and UV, that is waterproof. IP65, so not typically permanent outdoor stuff, but temporary outdoor stuff it's going to be good for. Um, it's not battery powered, but... It is waterproofed and at the price it comes at, it's honestly, for a, a good quality fixture, it's the best thing across all the brands that we can find. So let's take a look at it. It's been out for a while. We, we haven't taken a look at it yet. Uh, we've had one for quite a while. We just haven't shot this video. So a few things that make the QPAR really unique. Um, the first is, you know, it looks good and it does the things that it's supposed to, right? Like here, I've got it in a nice deep blue. It has a 45 degree beam angle. There is a uh, magnetic, I believe, attachment that you can buy that takes it to 60 and it's not it's not outrageously expensive or anything and you know it does what it does it washes it has color it looks pretty decent through the air um, as you can see if we just you know put our fingers on our color picker right we can get a whole range of color if we do go ahead and bring it to full bring all the emitters to full red green blue white amber and uv we get actually a pretty okay white like it's a little bit pinkish but let's just pull the uv out of it Okay, that cleaned it up a little bit, just minus red a little bit. And we're able to get a nice clean white out of this fixture that, you know, I would feel good about as a front light in some spaces. You know, it's it's washy, you know, it's not super focused. It does the job of a wash light and it does it pretty darn well. In terms of, you know, being able to make like, let's go and grab like a deep amber and we'll turn off those other colors, those other emitters. We're able to make pretty nice deep amber some pretty nice colors there that look really good so it does the color thing does kind of everything you'd expect there but I think there's two things that kind of set this par apart because you know when you do pars when you do wash lights like review videos you could do sometimes almost in like two minutes right like it makes colors they're saturated they look good whites look pretty good overall the color quality is not bad for something that doesn't have lime in it um, but there's two things that set this light apart number one is for a part of this size and this brightness, it's about 6,000 lumens, or it's an 18 by 10 watt fixture, though wattage isn't really a great way to compare fixtures. It can be helpful. For a fixture this size, even in non-waterproof, the pricing on this is like really good. At the time of this recording, it kind of beats everything else on the market. Build quality feels really good. Let's go ahead and turn it off quick, just to show you that. Okay, so build quality is a really nice build. So we've got here a really nice aluminum. Um, it's got airflow coming on through it. I don't think there's any fans. If there are, I've never heard them while it's running, even at full. Um, on the back, we have a nice color LCD. Um, it's got, you know, pretty typical menu system in it where you can get to all your stuff, you know, set your address, whatever you need to do. Off to the races. It's got a gore valve for its waterproofness to let the heat out, to let that pressure out. Um, and then at the bottom, it has plugs, so it has a true one in and out, DMX5 pin in and out with the covers to keep it IP65 rated. But I would argue probably the biggest place that this gets interesting is in the design of the yoke and the foot. So your typical fixtures, you know, from like every brand under the sun for the past, you know, since LED fixtures came out literally, is that you have a split yoke design, right? A split yoke where you have two sides and they hit the ground and there's kind of two problems with split yoke design, even though they're really common. They're, they're easy to make, they, they work generally well, especially if you're hanging the lights, but when you do put them on the ground, you have two problems with split yoke designs. Number one is if there isn't a catch on at least one side, the fixture ends up going like this, its legs go like this, and it falls all the way down to whatever the lowest cable is and then it's kind of resting on the cables and hard to get in the right position. Okay, that's one. Number two is you either have the choice basically when you manufacture a split yoke to make it long enough so that when it's standing up properly, the cables aren't on the ground and causing trouble and, and making the fixture kind of wobble side to side. Or 
you make it long enough and then it looks really long and when you're hanging the fixture there's a bunch of extra space and it feels kind of inefficient when you go to put the light in a case you have a lot of wasted space it's not ideal either way what volux did on this one i really like so you can probably see it here and we'll kick up to the top again real quick is you basically have an all-in-one deal where there's a foot where i can go and i can put a clamp in one of three spots killer it's got feet on it but then there's nothing to split nothing to spread in order to stand it up right it just goes on its base the cables clear pretty well like they touch the base they try to get caught in the holes a little bit but it's not as bad as a typical fixture and then you can adjust the knobs on the side that are a little bit of a unique kind of low profile design to loosen it aim it however you need okay and then go ahead and you're off to the race in terms of dimming we forgot to go over dimming so let's just bring it to our friendly amber here go back to intensity it dims pretty nice so we're just going to go ahead give it a slow manual dim down on our console where are we at we're at about 10 percent you see i mean like pretty much any led fixture you know at the bottom you see a little bit of steppiness more so than at the top but overall, like you can see it on the video, it dims pretty nice, especially for a, I don't want to call it a budget minded fixture, but when you compare this to other fixtures of a similar brightness and build quality, it really knocks them out of the park. So I don't want to be too clickbaity, but this is a really great fixture. We've been really happy with them. Our customers have been happy with them. Um, so if you want to check out the Volux Q part 18 IP, check it out at Orange Stage Lighting Gear. Um, that's where it is. We'd love to help you. We, we're happy to compare it with other fixtures, give you our opinions, let you know if it's right for you or not. As we always do, um, the light on this review might not be the perfect fixture for you, but we'll try our best to ask you questions, dive a little deeper, and figure out what is if you're interested. Or if you just want to quote and you want to buy stuff, hey, we'll do that all day long over at One Stage Lighting Gear. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.